This is Portland Police. We don't want to hurt you. But we need you to keep your hands up and visible or force could be used against you. That could be a dog bite. You could be 40. You could be shot. We don't want to hurt you. We just want to get you the help you need. Well, we're getting a look at body camera footage from the Portland Police Bureau for the first time since cameras were issued to officers back on June 24th. It's from an officer-involved shooting in North Portland from two weeks ago that sent a suspect to the hospital. Fox 12's Julia Lopez is breaking down the footage. This is the first time we've seen any footage like this from Portland police. And while today we saw at the very moment of the shooting of a suspect that police say was acting threatening, police are emphasizing that this is still an active investigation and the video is not meant to tell the whole story. A suspect shot by Portland police in North Portland on August 24th was arrested and is expected to survive after a standoff involving a suspect police say was armed with a gun and a hammer while chasing officers. Police are now releasing footage of the shooting, a first for the Bureau, which has only worn body cameras since late June. Police were called to North Portsmouth Avenue to reports of a man walking around with a gun that police and witnesses say he may have fired. This video shows the conclusion of that call. Robert, this is Portland Police. We don't want to hurt you, but we need you to keep your hands up and visible or force could be used against you. That could be a dog bite. You could be 40. You could be shot. We don't want to hurt you. We just want to get you the help you need. After warning the suspect, 52-year-old Robert Seeger, police say he continued to act erratically. We hear the suspect calling for officers to shoot. First, police fire one less lethal round seen here. 40, 40, 40. They say he re-emerges. He's got the gun. That's when a five-year veteran of the Bureau fires three rounds from behind a PPB vehicle, the last hitting Seeger. Police eventually take him into custody with the help of a canine. What we don't see are the moments leading to the decision to fire. Police say he had been acting threatening and in total had three weapons, a gun, knife, and hammer seen here. Here's how witnesses who called 911 described the scene to Fox 12 the night of the shooting. He came walking through next to everybody with a mask on and his gun out. Not and afraid, not afraid at all. He wasn't, yeah. you know, to hide his gun or he was just like... But police say those moments can't be shown yet as the investigation unfolds. That's intentional. A need for us to be able to balance this competing interest and desire of information by the community, which is well deserved. Respect for the process, respect for the members involved, respect for um, the victim or the, the suspect in this case. Police tell us that entire incident lasted over half an hour. We'll be able to request all the body-worn camera footage once the investigation is complete. Reporting in downtown Portland, Julia Lopez, Box 12, Oregon.